Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about Venus conjunct the Midheaven and the Natal Horoscope. People with this aspect often strive for peace, tranquility, and harmony in their work environment. Their career endeavors may include modeling, drawing, painting, music, or the arts in general. They often come across as tactful and diplomatic to the people they work with. They can be great mediators at work, and they can inspire cohesiveness and compatibility with their fellow employees. Since Venus is also associated with money, it may be likely that this person's career can be auspicious as far as generating revenue goes. They may be judicious and shrewd in business endeavors, and may make good investors. Relationships with parents and people in positions of authority are often peaceful and harmonious. Venus conjunct midheaven may be enamored with their career. A romantic partner or significant other may figure prominently in their success with career ventures and or the person with this aspect may meet a potential marriage partner at work. Members of the opposite sex that these people may work with may see this person as attractive. Midheaven conjunct Venus can be fair-minded and equitable in matters associated with their career. Some famous people with this aspect include legendary pro basketball player, majority owner, chairman, Michael Jordan, renowned artist, Vincent Van Gogh, actor, screenwriter, producer, Matt Damon, businessman, politician, Mitt Romney, and actress, fashion model, Kim Bassinger. Well, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for Venus conjunct the Midheaven in the natal horoscope. Stay tuned next time, where I will be dissertating and talking about Venus sextile or trine the midheaven in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person, astrologically, is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people stay well.